Okay, YouTubers, today we're going to be preparing a Japanese dish called Makauchidan. Uh, let me go over the ingredients. So I got some shimmy gray tuna, mayonnaise, some sushi seasoning, some ponju, citrus soy sauce, and some dried fish or seaweed topping. Um, went ahead and uh, took my sashimi gray tuna, diced it up uh, from a steak down into smaller pieces. Um, I'm going to take it down just a little bit more, mince it up some more. Cut across the other direction, mince it up real nice. I'll be going through the ingredients as I mix them in to save time. So you'll know what I'm talking about. And there we go. That's a good portion for one person. Okay. Take our sushi rice. I'm going to add some uh, sushi seasoning. As you can see, I'm not going to add very much, just a little bit. Some people like more or less. Just mix it through your sushi rice. Turn it over. Get it mixed through real quick. Try to hurry this up. I only have 10 minutes for you two standards. Have some seaweed prepared. Take some seaweed, cut it into some small pieces. I'm gonna put it on my rice here to make a little bed of seaweed. Um, you can get all different kinds of seaweed. You can get sweet seaweed or salty seaweed. So whatever you prefer, you can uh, find your local Asian market, and they'll be sure to help you pick out whatever flavor you like. Okay. You got a nice little bed of rice there. Now let's prepare this tuna real quick. I'm just going to put our tuna in the bowl. Put in some mayo, not too much, about a tablespoon or so, however much you think you want to do. Just mix it up in there. Get it nice and even all the way through. Turn it over, mix it up. You can kind of mash the tuna up a little bit if you see some big chunks in there. Um, if you get a little carried away and make it into a paste, that's all right. That's the way it's usually served is in a paste form, but mine never quite gets that far. I'm too impatient. Okay. Let's add this a dash of ponzu sauce, citrusy soy sauce. Just a touch of that sushi vinegar. You don't have to add the sushi vinegar into it, I won't say. I do, just kind of gives a little jazz there to the flavor, kind of zest it up a little bit. Okay. Like so. Put that down onto your bed of rice. You can add green onions if you want to on top of this. That's usually how it's served. Um, you don't have to. This is according if you like green onions or not. And to substitute green onions today, I'm going to put a little bit of this seaweed topping on here. I'll just give it a little color, a little flavor. Like so. And that's it.